There was a Swiss hermit who had been living in India for the last 60 years and uh, he had one of these amazing magical gardens where the light was different. Things just seemed so much more lush and abundant. So one of the projects that I had worked on was about the experience of this magical living garden of light. And then the rest of the work that I was doing, which are the more flattened out lace skeletal pieces, those have more to do with the sort of uh, memory, archiving, preserving of something precious and have them be permeated with breath and light and air and have them levitating and not quite holding on to any particular ground. For me, art making is often a, a, a way of processing, processing death and processing grief and processing meaning. What is real and how do you recognize it and what's permanent and what's transient. I've been working with the Indian Art Fair since I think 2011 is the first time I did a, a solo project over there. And I've been showing there every year since then. The first year was this big illusory room that people could walk into and see themselves in and then I'd animated all these illusory objects and done a video with that. And then over the course of the years, I've shown paintings and drawings and embroideries and all sorts of things at the Indian Art Fair. Actually, the Indian Art Fair has been a really important, um, important step for the art world because the amount of sheer interest it has just generated in the art world in the last few years uh, it's quite incredible when you see the number of people coming through it. Not just people from the art world necessarily that will normally go to a gallery, but just everyone coming through and that, that's pretty fantastic.